But whether you trust this better or wait for a tip, no doubt every punter wants to know the 16-year-old seemingly foolproof system for picking the winners. Fortune in a day at the races. The 16-year-old punter blitzed the bookies with a winning streak which reportedly returned almost a quarter of a million dollars. It was a day when the Golden Slipper hopefuls were putting their reputations on the line. Zetatave now. Zetatave has raced away to win by more than a length to Star Watch. But by the end of the sixth, 16-year-old Robert Tidy had built a reputation of his own as well as a small fortune in winnings. Robert's father just happens to be the owner of Zetatave. Here, the boy punter leads the horse with his mother after it won the Blue Diamond Stakes in Melbourne last month. After having a word with him, uh, I got more of the facts and uh, I still can't quite believe it. Colin Tidy says he gave his son $100 on Friday night to take two friends out to dinner. But long bitten by the betting bug, Robert instead went to Rose Hill and conned the bookies into believing he was 18. By the end of the day, he was more than $200,000 richer. He was betting all up, all up type of affair, and he ran into a, a lot of money. He shouldn't be betting, he is underage, uh, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's banned from going to the races now until he turns 18 at least. The AJC is also said to be considering taking action against the bookmakers who accepted the underage bets. Meanwhile, Cole Tidy is hoping Robert's plunge may at least be a good omen. The family's certainly been in luck. Uh, I, I hope the horse can, can keep going. Now. Brad Schmidt, National 9 News. Ironically, owner of Slipper favourite Zeta Tave, and one of Sydney's biggest bookmakers isn't last. So I never realised it went to this extent. Uh, he, he's definitely grounded from going to the races now, uh, as long as I have uh, charge of him. But uh, what do you know, people with teenage boys, sometimes they are hard to control. Well, as far as control is concerned, that's where the Sydney Turf Club steps in. Robert's big success was at their Rose Hill track last Saturday, where Dad's horse Zedatave won. So the betting problems are now the STCs. As you can appreciate, there is, in all licensed premises, uh, very difficult to police ages, particularly around the 17, 16, 17, 18. So it's, uh, it's very difficult, Graham. But I can assure you the club will be doing what it can to ensure that the laws in this state are upheld. In reality, though, the Gaming and Betting Act tends to make light of the whole affair with young Robert and or accomplices and bookmakers liable to just a maximum $200 fine. And maybe it doesn't all end at the racetrack either. You see, Robert is mad on rugby league and those South Sydney Rabbitohs. We're repping green, green people of Maroubra. You're not going to tell me now he's back south to win the competition. I, I couldn't do that. I, well, I don't know. I, he probably has. I honestly don't know. Whilst the registered racing clubs are naturally failing to see a lighter side to this problem, I guess the average punter around Australia today would be cheering for the miner who has ripped off their mortal enemy, the bookmakers. Graham Hughes, Eyewitness News. Starting with a stake of $100, the boy ended his day at the races close to $100,000 richer. But his extraordinary spree ended today. His parents have confiscated the money and banned him from the racetrack until his 18th birthday. 16-year-old Robert Tidy has been studying form guides along with his bookmaker dad, Colin, for the last six years. At Rose Hill on Saturday, the teenager combined his expertise with a good deal of luck and guts and turned $100 into a five-figure sum. But at the Coogee home of Colin and Helen Tidy, there's been no champagne corks popping or wild celebrations. In fact, they've taken a very stern view of their son's win. They've kept him well away from the media, banned him from the racetrack and confiscated the money. I'm only being tough on him because he, he, he is underage and he, he knows he's underage and I've told him very uh, blatantly that he's underage and he's not to bet, but he actually told the bookie that he was, that he bet with that he was 18. 
So I'm, I'm not very happy about that. Robert gave his dad's bookmaker mates a thrashing. Backing winners like Eastern Temple and Zedative, he won in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. But it was a windfall he'll have to wait to cash in on. I'm taking charge of the money and investing it for him. He won't be touching a halfpenny of it. And 16-year-old Robert still faces the prospect of an AJC inquiry. For the moment, though, he seems to be keeping a smile on his face. He's over the moon. He's on cloud nine. For the City Moffat, 7 News. But this was no ordinary run of luck. Robert won a five-figure sum. This morning at the breakfast of the stars, even the bravest punter was stunned at the story sweeping the racing world. The rumour was that 16-year-old Robert Tidy had turned $100 into $250,000 at Rose Hill Racecourse at the weekend. He's the son of prominent Sydney bookmaker Colin Tidy, who gave him the cash for a Chinese meal. Well, someone else told me he ran into a lot of money, and the stories I heard I just couldn't believe. But uh, after having a word with him, uh, I got more of the facts, and uh, I still can't quite believe it. It's believed Robert told a bookmaker he was old enough to bet, and went on to back a series of winners in three states to gross a five-figure sum. He shouldn't be betting, he is underage, uh, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's banned from going to the races now until he turns 18 at least. It's illegal for anyone under 18 to place a bet, but if they're caught, it's the bookmakers who can lose their licence. The Sydney Turf Club, which operates Rose Hill, said there'll be a clampdown on identification of any person suspected of being underage. But for those who are old enough to have a flutter, they can ponder the huge bet on Golden Slipper favourite Zedative, owned by Colin Tidy. A $40,000 bet has been laid with bookmaker Dominic Byrne, who hastened to add the plunge was by a 55-year-old punter. But whether you trust this better or wait for a tip, no doubt every punter wants to know the 16-year-old seemingly foolproof system for picking the winners.